Hello everyone. In my last video, I talked about delegation, the concept of delegation and its importance. There are six importance of delegation we have discussed in my last video. Those were effective management, employee development, motivation of employees, facilitation of growth, basis of management hierarchy and better coordination. How delegation helps for effective management, how it helps development of our employees, how it helps for employees development, how delegation motivates employees, how delegation helps for growth of the organization, how delegation creates a superior subordinate relationships and how it is really very important for creating a coordination in the organization that we have discussed in my last video. Today, I am going to discuss about decentralization and we are going to understand importance of decentralization. So let us start today's video. Decentralization and its importance. Those organization in which decision making authority lies with the top management are termed as centralized organization. Whereas those in which such authority is shared with lower levels are decentralized organization. Let us understand this with this example. Here you can see A is the boss of B, D, F, C, E, G. A is the top level management. Okay. Now here any this kind of decisions if A is taking and he is passing on his decision to the other people like B, C, D, E and F, G. That means this organization is centralized because all the decisions are taking only at the top level of the organization. Whereas, if A give the authority to B and C to take certain decisions and now B and C started taking some decisions, this is the example of decentralization. Where being as a top management, A need not to take all decisions. Some decision making power also given to B and also to C. They have also started taking decisions and in the same way it goes to the lower level. This is the example for decentralization. Decentralization refers to delegation of authority throughout all the levels of the organization. Means in all the organization at all the level when we the top level management gives decision taking authority to the lower level management. This is called decentralization. An organization can never be completely centralized or decentralized. There is a need for balance. Now why it is said so? Because all the issues at the level of D and E, A may not know. Or all the issues at the level of F and G, A may not know. So to have an effective decision making process, A gives some kind of authority to D, E or F, G to make some decisions. But at the same time, all the perspective of make, taking a decision, D and E also may not know. What decision will be the benefited for the entire organization? What decisions really is going to take the organization forward in their level, especially at D, E or F, G? They may not know all those consequences. In that cases, A also has to take some part. So that is why it says, an organization can never be completely centralized or decentralized. There has to be a balance. Means some decisions A has to take for everyone and some decisions other people like D, E or F, G has to take for the better than of the organization. Now coming to the importance of decentralization. 
the importance of decentralization and the importance of delegation has similarities as we have discussed delegation already so now it will be easier for you to understand the importance of decentralization number one says develops initiative among subordinates when we decentralize our work or when we give away our authority of taking decisions to our subordinates it enhances their self-confidence it enhances their trust towards the organization and it initiates their development for better performance next come develops managerial talents for the future in the process of giving away the authority of taking decision to our subordinates it gives a really very good chance for them to prove their abilities and it also helps the management to identify good effective and responsible subordinates at the same time it also a means of management education through decentralization we really can educate our subordinates in management what actually we need to do what actually we should do and what are the things we should avoid third come quick decision making as i said all kind of scenarios experience top level management may not have the lower level management or who really work in fields they knows the real scenario and real problems which they face every day to come up with those kind of problems they were the best person to take some sort of decisions and when being as a top level management we give such kind of authority to them to take certain decisions it enhances quick decision making power to the organization next come relief to top management now top management has a bunch of work to complete starting from planning then they have to organize then they have to do their routine work if they will involve themselves in all the routine work then they will not be able to keep themselves very focused for the growth of the organization and for the future planning so by giving away the authority of making decision to the subordinates they become relief from the daily operative work and really they can think of about new planning for the growth of the organization then come facilitates growth every department in an organization they work for their development and growth when they when the decision making power comes to the head of the department they always try to increase their productivity in the highest level and that really create an effective and advantageous position for the organization to grow or to expand because those kind of powerful people who are really taking good decisions are future managers future prospects for the organization and it also helps their organization to grow their business in different line of businesses better control now how it creates better control when we give away the power of taking decisions the person who is receiving that power is also responsible for the outcome and because of their outcome it's become very easier for the top level management to judge or to measure their performance in terms of the output and the result at the same time feedbacks whenever it comes from them to the top level management those are real feedbacks where actually the top level management need to work upon and those kind of feedbacks really give an advantage to the top level to the top level management to create a better control over the organization so this is all about about today's class so today in this video we talked about the concept called decentralization 
and six importance of decentralization we have discussed number one was develops initiative among subordinates how decentralization helps to enhance the self self-reliance or confidence and helps employees to take initiative for taking decision then we discuss develops managerial talent for the future how giving away decision making power to subordinates really helped the managerial talent in the organization quick decision making how decision can really quickly make while we give away the authority of making decisions to our subordinates relief to top management how decentralization really help top management to think about the organization further facilitates growth how decentralization helps to grow business and how decentralization helps to have a better control we discuss in this video all about thank you so much